When it comes to endurance racing, two things matter, the driver and the car. They both have to be reliable. When it comes to the car, pretty much everyone out here are running ZF clutches. We've come to the ZF trailer to find out why. Here we are in the middle of the paddock in ZF's trailer with Paul. Paul, thanks for being here. Sure, uh, we're here to talk because ZF is in essentially every single race car on the track, but specifically one major component. What's that? Basically all of the GTD cars minus a couple, and uh, same with the GTLM. They're pretty much all running our clutches, either a carbon clutch or a centric clutch. Now there's obviously some really intense science behind how clutches work uh, as far as uh, centripetal force and friction and heat and all this. Um, what makes the difference between a centered and a carbon? Um, well, the centered clutch uh, has a lot more uh, has a lot higher coefficient of friction. Okay. Um, so by itself, it can handle more torque. The carbon clutches, though, can handle a lot more heat. So, so from a durability standpoint, there's some trade-offs there between the two of them. Our clutches uh, have a long history. The Sax clutches, long history of uh, durability and and that. So um, a lot of teams, a lot of manufacturers come to us uh, right up front. They want to work with us because they know we have some of the best products. Something that I think is interesting is when people come to you, they say, I've got this awesome street car. It's got 600 horsepower. What kind of clutch do I need? What do you guys say to that? The, the horsepower means nothing. Basically. Ah. That's basically Well, at least we in that case. In, in I that would case. like to think horsepower does mean something, but in this case, right. it means nothing. As okay. far as the clutch goes, it means nothing. Okay. Uh, it's all about torque. How much torque does the, does the motor put out? What would be one of the major differences between clutches running this weekend here, or let's say just a normal street car? Um, well, a street car uh, typically is a single plate clutch, and it's usually quite a bit bigger. That's these guys here, right? right. All right, so this is what the, the, the viewers at home, this is the clutch uh, you would have in your car. So, so you've got your, I, oh, I think I'd, I'd say this is a, probably a 215 millimeter clutch. Okay. Whereas on the race cars, you typically, in the GT cars, you have a 140 millimeter clutch. Uh, they get smaller as you get up in uh, technology, like Formula One gets yeah. even smaller. But for your standard GT car, 140 millimeters is, is what you've got. So uh, the difference though is you've got a much more compact, lighter design um, that uh, that's in the race car, because in racing, as you probably are yeah. well aware, weight is everything. 